G'day everybody. Well, it's been a bit of time since I've done a video on the shredder and as you can see it has regenerated a bit. The uh, last video I did, which was the cutter rebuild, um, since then it's been working pretty well. I ended up ditching that crappy little universal motor that was driving it and just decided to give it a little bit more power. It's better. It's almost as big as the actual shredder itself. That's the GMF Betz motor, um, 140 watts it draws, and it's got a shitload of torque. Um, I ended up making up a dog clutch for it, just with some uh, Meccano nuts and bolts. And that's, uh, that's working really nicely now to drive it. Um, it's loud, or noisy, uh, not scream your head off sort of thing, but it does work. That's the discharge underneath there, drops the rubbish down into a plastic tub. I just ran some, uh, oh, I got a fan going, so excuse that, but I've just um, been put some tin foil and stuff through it just to run it in. But now we're going to uh, feed some different stuff to it. I'm going to uh, try it out on aluminium. I've got some um, element from a, um, I suppose you call it an element really, I don't really know what this stuff's called, but that's out of a halogen heater. Got a bit of that. Got the ends off of a uh, Coke can and some capacitor casings maybe even some uh, brass inductor cans and things as well if I get time but, uh, yeah we're gonna put all that through it see how it goes and just see how much fun we can have with this new beast that we've created and by the way there is no safety features on this at all when I uh, first modified this they all came off and went straight through it <laughs> but uh, yeah, you buy these things from the supermarket, they're riddled with bloody uh, micro switches and other safety features which are not necessary. If you're dumb enough to stick your fingers down into there, you deserve to lose them. I know it's grim, but anyway, let's get some power on this thing and feed some stuff to it. The beast is hungry. <laughs> Might turn that fan off actually because it's annoying me. Oh shit, whoops. <laughs> Bloody hellfire. Jesus Christ, that's evil. I really don't want to put my finger into this. Bloody hell. Yeah, this thing will easily take your finger off. What about a can top? Well, that, my friends, was a jam. <laughs> Bloody hell, scared the shit out of me and made a loud noise. I think we've actually chomped a gear then. But it just shows how much power this thing's got. That would have originally stalled. Yeah, look, we've eaten a gear out. Bloody hell. Whoops. Oh well. Because this thing doesn't have a reverse on it, unfortunately. But oh well. It was good while it lasted. Oh, and the gear seems to be okay. <laughs> Fucking hell, that was loud. Let's give it another run. I ought to watch my camera strap as well. In fact, I might just put that on my wrist. Let's hold the motor. There we go. Well, it's still working alright. May jam up again though, so I might, uh, not push it too much. Oops, there goes that gear. Okay. Well, that didn't last long. I think we just killed it. Oh, well, there you go. Shredder's just died. 
I'll have to go to Weldy and buy another one. We can blow that up. <laughs> Since we know how to, um... Yeah. Anyway, let's just look at what I did. I just made a dog clutch out of that. Duh. That's come out. It's very hot. And I think we've just stripped that gear off. I believe our uh, Aussie 50 Ed's um, attempt to one, and it actually did that. Stripped out the uh, drive gear. Um, duh. Yeah, I don't know. I might even be able to uh, buy a cheap DC motor and or maybe even be able to couple a gearbox to that and still be able to drive it with this motor. And, um, yeah, do it that way. That's, uh, that's unfortunate. Bloody noisy, though, and it stinks of, uh, nylon, because that's all chomped out now. Oh, well, it did all right at what it ate. Um, yeah, here's your finished product. All aluminium. Might even have a play with this, uh, later on, see if we can melt some down with the propane torch. Get that little bit of brass out of there. Okay. Don't feed inductor cans to your paper shredder if you've done that to it. Doesn't work as well as you think. Oh well. Hope you enjoyed that while it lasted. Thanks for watching.